I just want to address something. So there's people going around saying that, oh, you know, Nolan doesn't feed his dog or some stupid bullshit, right? Here is the fucking deal. The shit that people don't under fucking stand. Nolan does not live at my house. Zeus lives at my house. I board and home, house, whatever the fuck you want to say, Zeus, until Nolan is 18. And he either moves out or moves in here, figures out what he's doing, right? Zeus is here because this is a stable environment where he can have the best potential to turn out to be a perfect, as close to perfect, you know, trained dog. So, anyways, let me just get into this tea real quick. When Nolan is not here, it is my responsibility. If Nolan has to go to work two days straight and he's not here for a night, and I wake up the next morning and he's not here, it is my responsibility to feed Zeus. It is my responsibility to let him out. It is my responsibility to take care of him. And I chose to do that. That is my responsibility. I have my other two service dogs, and he has his service dog. It's my responsibility when he's gone. Okay, let's get that under... Just, just for a second okay somebody made a fake fucking post and i think this is really funny because my neighbors i know them right i've lived in this house for a little while now about five months ish four or five months both of my neighbors two houses that way and two houses that way no children nobody they're all old people they're either 40 or above all of them so this whole oh i'm their neighbor thing not true because none of them are and they were close to our age none of them are even on most likely because they're that old anyways on top of that no one doesn't yell at zeus no one will correct zeus and say like no or like come here that kind of stuff stuff you have to be strict with with a stubborn breed that's something you have to fucking do this is for people that don't understand huskies rottweilers any of those kinds of dogs they are stubborn, so they need to be told no. They need to understand what that word means. If they don't understand what that word means, then you're going to have a ruthless dog on the loose. Now, we adopted Zeus from a shelter. Normally, when you get a dog from a shelter, they neuter or they spay them. What that means is that they fix them so they can't impregnate or get pregnant, none of that kind of stuff. And... Sadly, even if they're very, very young, like Zeus was, which is two to three months old, they will still neuter them. So Zeus was already neutered. So when we took him to the vet, which I had to take him to the vet, when I took him to the vet, the vet said, yes, this is a Rottweiler puppy. This is, whether he's purebred or not, he's clearly part Rottweiler for the most part. So that's what we're going to be going by. And he said, with any kind of large breed dog, if you neuter them before they're they're done growing their hips and their joints all that kind of jazz can have a lot of fucking trouble if they are overweight so his advice was listen to this to not overfeed him now many rottweiler puppies that you see are kind of like chunky and many rottweilers you see are very chunky and same with husky same with any kind of fucking dog nowadays because everybody thinks you're supposed to fucking feed them until they're fat anyways Yes, you can see his ribs. Yes, you can see his hips. We are trying to put weight on him, but just a tiny bit. The problem with him is, is he's very, very fucking picky. He's very picky. He barely fucking eats sometimes. He's so picky that he will eat literally just his wet food, and that's not enough for him. So we've, we're trying different things to get him to eat and stuff, but... It's not that we're not feeding him. He chooses not to eat sometimes. That's something that huskies do. I've struggled with that with multiple huskies of mine. Not L, clearly. <laughs> something that a lot of dogs do is they, they're picky. That's, that's just something that they do. They'll learn to eat. Um, personally, what I do is I give them their food every day, and if they don't want to eat, then they don't eat. And then the next day, they're more hungry. They're, they're most likely going to eat, and that's what we've been doing. Zeus eats. He eats. Yes, he's skinny. Yes, he's thin. The vet says, do not make him pet weight. Do not get him to this point until he's this age. We have a whole freaking chart. He's fine. Okay. That's just the tea. And for whoever's making up some fake shit, you guys are really annoying. Like, I just don't believe everything you see on the internet because this Harley person, whatever the hell their name is, does not even exist. 
None of them live around here. I know where the fuck I live, okay? Um, yeah. And the only person that Nolan and Zeus have met up with is my friend Mackenzie. Literally. The only person that we've worked around at all. So, if you want some some actual tea, then she's the only person that will have actual fucking facts. Okay? Okay. 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 I'm not even going to get into it, but when you make shit up, it just kind of shows the type of person you are. And I know you're going to see this, you fucking doll-faced person. Um, you're a piece of shit. I'm just saying. You're a piece of shit. Or making shit up. <laughs> like, like, you literally have so much fucking time on your hands, and I know you're following me, because when I clicked on your profile, it said follow back. Oh, fuck no, baby!